OK, it's time to press on with our character archetypes. In the last little snippet we talked about the hero, who is young and brave and handsome and naive and wants to slay the dragon. What is different about this type of hero, I would ask you? It's not just that he has a beard and is wearing a singlet. This hero is quite different. He is, in fact, the dark hero. Unlike the dark hero, the, the hero, the dark hero is actually dark as in they often have dark hair. They put them in dark clothing, as we can see here. Um, they are dangerous. You know, they have, presumably, they have often actually killed people. They have done terrible things. And not necessarily because they had to, but sometimes they just had dark paths where they were not good men. As um, this guy Money here in the um, Clint Eastwood classic Unforgiven, these are people who have done bad things. The dark hero is very much a man of action. You know, they will go out there and get the job done, maybe not nicely, but they will do what needs doing, and they are perhaps even more of action, more ready to go to action than the hero is. The central question for the dark hero is actually more interesting than the question is for the hero. The hero only has to ask themselves, can I beat the dragon? But what the um, dark hero has to ask themselves is basically, will I join the team and do the right thing, or will, go on, will I go on being selfish and keep doing the wrong thing? So that is what um, defines the dark hero. The dark hero is very popular at the moment. Lots and lots of films have dark heroes and all those vampire books and so forth all you know dark heroes very much so so before i go i you know pick up your favorite films books ask yourself who's a dark hero i bet you'll find them everywhere <laughs>